How was your nap, Fredo? Was it good? It was good, wasn't it? You were laying in that bed for a while. It was so good. Thanks for coming to cuddle with me. Oh, just lay down, why don't you? Okay. <laughs> Hi, I propagated my Monstera. I made three new cuttings from it. Look at it, they're gonna be beautiful. So I had to Google how to propagate properly. And my friends at YouTube told me that, here, let me show you one. You have to find where a new air root is growing. So like right there, that's an air root. And you have to cut like an inch below it. And then you put it in water. And when it starts growing new roots, then after like a few weeks, you can replant it again. So that's exciting, right? Yes, so I'll have three new plantings to go. I'm really excited. It's really dark in here, which makes me look like I have really big bags underneath my eyes, but well, all right, so let me show you where I cut it from. So this is my Monstera. Look at how big it is. It definitely needed to be trimmed because I wanna fill in other areas like this area, I wanna fill this area in. So where I cut it was from back here, and I cut it from back here. I can't wait for it to grow. Oh my gosh, just look at my plants. Aren't they just amazing? They make me really happy. Look how much this one's grown in like the last month. This is brand new, and this is brand new here. Like what? Oh my gosh, they're just so big and beautiful, I love it. Also for Christmas, Kalina got me plant hangers and I'm really excited about them. So I hung two over here, which would put a light there because wintertime, not so much light comes into this room, but in the summertime, this room is like lit up. So Adam was nice enough to lend me one of his plant lights from last year and now they're growing beautifully. And then I hung one here too. Oh, I just, oh, plant so happy also I have like four five in my office I have some on the kitchen black buffet and then in front of the window the French doors I have a bunch of plants over there plants so yesterday I finally put up all my Valentine's decorations oh, I'm ready for February that is for sure I was like maybe I won't put up Valentine's Day maybe I'll just wait until like March and in April for spring. But then I was like, you know what? My shelves are really empty. My house is really bare. I'm gonna need some decorations. And it reminded me what I love about my Valentine decoration is, is that they're very minimal. So you go from like a super, super full, really decorated Halloween to Christmas. And it's nice just to relax with Valentine's Day. I'm excited about it. So yeah, this is my plant stand here. Isn't that nice? I just showed you all my plants. Aren't they lovely? I think so. Um, I feel like I'm becoming one of those crazy plant lady people. Hmm, am I? I don't know. Although I don't really know much about plants. I just know that I like them and that I think they make me happy. So not I think, I know they make me happy. So yeah, that's that. It's Sunday. I had a really busy the last two days. So it's nice to like have nothing to do today. Like I literally just laid on this couch and then I went on the ground and I cuddled with Feta for a while. And then I got up and I washed the floors in here. And then I went and checked out my plants just to make sure I had enough water for my propagated Monstera clippings. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I did make a list of things that like I wanna accomplish this week. So we'll see if they happen. I'm pretty sure they will happen because what else do I have going on in my life, right, right. <laughs> Why were my last few days busy? I didn't blog. Maybe that's why, but also too, like, you know, life. Yesterday I was busy because I had a photo shoot. I had an engagement session in Royal Oak, and then I met up with Derek. I hadn't seen his new house yet, so I went and checked it out. And then we went to his new studio to check that out too, which was really nice because I got to hang out with Wendy for a little bit. And then I finally made my way home. Um, the day before, well, actually, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday Pearl was over and that was super busy and I just slept after she left because it's exhausting because like you forget how active kids are. I do have so much fun with her and we got to hang out with Dominic. So like that was awesome for her. For me, yes, it was awesome. I love Dominic. He's very fun. Um, but Thursday and Friday, 
I went through like all my files and I was figuring out like sessions that I booked in the past and I was working on some plans for Valentine's Day gifts that I'm going to send out to my Valentine's Day gals that normally have a brunch here and because obviously COVID we're not having it this year. Last year we got to have it because COVID didn't shut us down until March but this year not going to happen so I want to like send out something fun to them. I say send out, but I'm actually going to deliver them to them. So I was working out plans of like getting together things that I'm going to include, talking to those vendors, things like that, working everything out, all the details, getting addresses, fun things like that. So that was a lot of work. Also, too, I did a photo shoot for Boudoir the Sunday before and actually last week from today because today is Sunday and I edited everything right away. And now I've just been dealing with them coming back, asking for touch-ups on certain areas, and then ordering their albums and their prints and stuff like that so everybody can get their stuff before Valentine's Day. It's a lot of fun. Also, too, I've been getting a lot of emails, surprisingly, uh, for boudoir, for engagements, for first birthdays, things like that. So I'm getting busy again, I guess, which is great. I say I guess, but it is really great. I'm super excited about it. No matter what with COVID or not, normally in the wintertime, like I would always feel super down because things have slowed down and I'm not really photographing a whole lot. And like my email box is empty. Like I just took a picture of my email and there were no emails in it. Like literally I cleared everything out, got rid of everything, sorted everything, finished everything right at the new year. And I sent a picture of it to Amanda and I was like, oh my gosh, zero inbox, what? So it's nice to see it filling up again at the same time, like I'm still being conscious about COVID and I'm still being conscious about like when I can work and how I want to work and what I feel comfortable with. So with all that said, this is going to be a really different year. I know last year was a different year, but that was like a totally unexpected different year where this time I'm prepared for it. I know what to expect. I'm not feeling down about myself. I'm not feeling like it's my fault when really it's what's happening in the world. So yeah, I had like a whole lot of like thinking and processing and like just learning to let go, <laughs> learning to let go. Uh, I have also started journaling again, so that's nice. And in my journal, my first sentence was, I'm journaling even though my handwriting is crap and my thoughts are all scattered, but I'm not doing it for anybody else and doing it for me. So what does it matter if I read this back or not? Mm -hmm. So I'm on day four right now. Guys, hold me accountable. Let's make sure that I keep journaling because I got to get these thoughts out somehow, right? Yes. All right. What else is going on? Oh, I'm doing embroidery now. So that's exciting. I'll show you an update of like the project that I'm doing right now. Also too, I'm working on diamond art. I'm working on something for wine and cheese when it eventually does happen because the theme's going to be circus because it's the year 10. Uh, I was going to do a diamond art, old timey circus uh photo it's really cool I got like the bottom half done so I have like the middle and then the top and it's really big too it's like a 16 by 20 print which that's the biggest diamond arting that I've ever done so I have two fun projects going on I got embroidery and I got diamond art so it's very exciting right yes all right I'm gonna go cut off my dog some more hmm, I've chatted you up long enough